Normal match, normal rules, switching enabled. And we are listening to the ending credits theme from Pokemon Anniversary Crystal. What a run that was. So is it called 251 because that's how many Pokemon were in the decks at that time? Well, that's what uh, Pig Devil called it. Or Pigu. Anyways, here are the Pokemon in this match. We have a Clefairy, we have a Curlia, and we have a Kecleon. Taking but on, on the red side, we've got an Ursaring and a Pikachu. Not to mention a Drifblim. Drifblim indeed. The Ghost Flying type. So we got about two minutes left in this betting period. Still pretty early. Looks like we got ourselves a mythical battle song in the brew. Yes, that would be for the Lake Guardians. Originally from Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> They're all... They're all making fun of the song's title. 386 is a good song. I'll just say 493, 649, 721, and 802. Silver song, there wasn't anything there. Why'd you tell me to look look behind me? TPP Simulator, a pretty grim thing to everyone was and no because war? What? Look, Sim, I think Roar was their best chance. They needed to shut down the Swords Dance. You can't fault them for that. Florin, I said 721. Less than a minute left to get your bets in. Blue Team is a big underdog right now. But of course, that can change. It must be because of the big old bear. It does have that belly drum, too. That's gonna do some work, probably. Wait a second. That's a Wish Clefairy. Respect the Wish Clefairy, guys. Because we have the... almost 30 seconds left. Come on, get your bets in. Quick, quick, quick. Ursaring could be at an advantage because it outspeeds everybody on the blue corner. Fifteen seconds left. Once you hear this miss, this match will have begun. Good luck, everybody. And we will be heading on to... Ah, the Crystal Coliseum. The blue corner will send out its Clefairy. The red corner, its Ursaring. I never realized how uh, similar that beginning is to the roaming Pokemon theme. Interesting. The Pokemon are lit by the glow of the crystals here, and Ursaring will lead off with a belly drum, maximizing its attack power. And it looks like Clefairy is going to respond by screaming at it. Hyper Voice will not knock out the Ursaring, and now it could be in trouble. Ursaring will use Slash on the Clefairy. A savage hit on the Clefairy! Never stood a chance! Huh. I wonder how Blue is going to get out of this one. I really don't know because Ursaring outspeeds all. Ursaring will use a slash on the Curlia. Oh my goodness, I wonder if this Curlier will even make it to the Poke Center. That did an incredible amount of damage. I'm actually, oh, that's I'm a little nauseous right now. Uh, hold on just a second, That's ooh, that was gruesome. For the blue corner, Kecleon will be sent out. The blue corner's hopes and dreams will rest with this Pokemon. Ursa Ring will use a Slash. And that is game! A four-turn sweep for the red corner! And a small, but decent 22% payout. Wow, that was fast. 
Oh, uh, nature. Nature is a, ooh, it's a beautiful thing. Yikes. That was fast. Yes, I agree. I agree, Kimono Dragon. It will be side game input time here for Pokemon Ash Gray. For a chance to win a token, in insert an input. A, B, up, down, left, right. Hey, start select. Simulator. Or wait. I mean, Come on, I don't know. For all I know, it could be true. I just haven't even heard Mario Mario Huge commentate. Come on, TPP Simulator. Free Griff. 19 being his generous self and adding a token to the pool. Thank you. It's been non-stop tonight. Indeed it has been. Things are going crazy. Fresh Outlook and... I don't know who that is. or something. S S it's a uh, something. A S C up in there, I'm sure. This may be our last match of the hour here. We have a normal match, normal rules, and switching disabled here. For the what blue you corner. see is what you get. For the blue corner, we have Hitmonlee, Iglybuff, and Bronzong. <laughs> and on the red corner, we have. Trico, Wilmer, and Dusclops. Is that a Gen 3 setup confirmed? That looks like a Gen 3 setup confirmed indeed. <laughs> no. I try. I'm trying not to be a, a demon commentator. But I just have to go, you know... Wait a second. No, this isn't the... Oh, it is the Mart, isn't it? Did someone change the name on this? Acerola's Trial, and it does make sense with that dust clops in there. Yes, and that is in that, uh, um, haunted Pokemart. Wait, no, that's not, that doesn't count. Dig Iglybuff and Bronzong aren't Gen 3. No, no, no. This just doesn't add up at all. Mimiku! Less than a minute and a half to get your bets in for this exciting PBR match. I wonder where it will take place. I'm thinking Fog. I would love a Fog match. That would be great for this, this setup. Yeah, we haven't had much in the way of gimmick matches this hour. Speaking of a Mimikyu, um, emote. Less than 35 seconds, get your bets in on this switching off match. If you are a beginner, this is one of the best matches that you can start out with. What you see is indeed what you are going to battle as. Oh, TPP Simulator. Memes curse people couldn't see that are we are. One playing it back in blue and to await. Mimikyu is probably the best Gen 7. I don't know, but we are going to be battling a totem Pokemon here as we head to the Sunset Coliseum. A beautiful backdrop here in Poketopia. Hitmonlee and Trico will lead off for their respective corners. Trico will go first. And it will start with an Endor. Whatever blue team has to dish out, red team can endure it. And <laughs> it's just, gotcha. 
Well, it would have been a free hit regardless with that fake out. So now Trico will use a Leaf Storm on that hit, Mon Lee. And it does about 58% damage while lowering its special attack significantly. Oh, wait, it has a lighter to bring it back. Hit Mon Lee's <laughs> Focus Blast misses the target. More like Miss Mon Lee, am I right? Oh, and Red Team misses right back. Ooh, Leaf Storm missed and Hit Mon Lee responds with a Focus Blast. It's a critical hit and Trico goes down. Better late than never. Indeed, that's Sheffy's reign in the chat. I love that part of the song. It's like the revving up kind of part. So Whalemer will be sent out for the red corner to take on that Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Lee responds with a focus blast. Another critical hit! Whaler down the red! Whalemer will respond with a waterfall. And Hitmon Lee won't be able to withstand it. Water fall down, me. Water fall. So now it will be Igly Buff coming out for the blue corner. <laughs> Remaining Pokemon count is an even 50 50. Ramor uses a waterfall and. It does about 60% damage to that. Oh, it's a flinch! Iglybuff cannot move! And Whalmer could be in good shape here. Oh, it uses Curse! Alright, one more of those, boys. One more of those, please. DB style. That was a pretty, um, interesting move choice as Iglybuff will send Whalmer out into space. It falls down at such a hard rate that it craters itself. And Whalemur obviously is not going to be able to handle something like that. Whalemur unable to survive because it did not use the second curse. No, not even close. So now it will be Dustclops coming in for the red corner. Red corner's hopes and dreams weigh on this Pokemon. Dustclops leaves a rock slide. And the rock. Oh, Inkweepum barely holds on. And it cannot counter a ghost. Oh, that's. Bummer. It would have been perfect. An unlucky break, indeed. So Dustclops will take out Inkweepum with some rocks. And it will be one on one. The battle will come right down to the wire. It will be Bronzong for the blue corner with a 298% potential payout, taking on the red corner and Dustclops. Could this be any more exciting? Both corners are in a tough spot. Bronzong will lead with a Zen headbutt, looking for a flinch. Also a stab, and bringing Dustclops down to just under 80%. Dustclops will respawn with a Shadow Punch. That will do normal damage. So, it looks like right now the first side to get a critical hit will win this match. Bronzong uses another Zen Headbutt. Bronzong is just about at 50%. Wait, but no. It Dustclops is just about at 50%. Yes, so a huge break for Bronzong with that flinch. Now it will change to Iron Head. Dustclops at 20% health. Can Dustclops get a critical hit here? It's going to need it. It won't get it. But even then, I think Bronzong would have had the advantage. By Joe, they've done it. They're going for the Iron Head, which has 100% accuracy. And it's going to hit that Dustclops and finish the game. game. Nearly three times payout. Well done, blue team. Huge underdog payout for the blue corner. That will do it. And for this commentary block, that will also do it for us here. We will have two new commentators 
Ch um, entering the booth momentarily. I am G-Force Fly. And I am Big Boyd. As always, it's been a pleasure and a privilege, chat. Same here. Thank you and very much. And G-Force likewise. Very, very good job. Yes, indeed. Have a great night, or morning, wherever you are. Take care, everyone. Night, folks. See you next time. How's everybody doing? I am LucreBomb12, filling in and commentary. And here with me is... Hello, it's Leonis2. Alright, so we're happy to be here with y'all. We got a token match between a new run mods that were just submitted. Hello, uh, Chibi. Silver Song, thank you guys for the support. I don't know what you're talking about. Back to sitting in a in a booth right now, and uh, somebody's uh, actually holding up cue cards for us. Anyway, so this is a token match. Uh, the only one I know is the Togepi is from... If that's the uh, Prince Omelette from Crystal. Hi. And so th this music here is from The Legend of Heroes, a game I have not played. But the betting song, if it is not outbid, that is a game that I play. Definitely like the soundtrack of that a lot. And we do have one minute left until bidding, until the hourly break ends. It looks like we only have one token bid right now. Can we get some more token bids in? I don't know. We didn't really read the Pokemon hints. Do we have time for that? Uh, proud of its sturdy skull, races through narrow caves, warms its body by absorbing sunlight. Well, that looks like a big one. Um, is it is it shield on? I I don't know. Bat basket on maybe. I don't have anything other than that. <laughs> I don't have much of an idea either, but we're about to find out in a second. We will. Oh, it's Drugadon, Drugadon, and I was completely wrong about which one was the fake. That can happen. Anyways, we've entered Viridian City. Get your inputs in if you want the chance to win a token. Looks like we're about to be stopped by what looks like to be a police person. I believe that is actually Officer Jenny. She's behind a sign for whatever reason. I don't we remember. We got two tokens in the pot right now. Two tokens! Thank you to whoever put one in the storm. Every little bit is exciting. Gives you more of a chance to win a token. And the winners 